Welcome everybody. This is a specialty class. We're doing the A and SU series. We're doing a workshop and this is going to be question and answer. And then I'm also going to work on the hardest part of the organ. I do have a little bit of a studio audience behind me here, so I'm going to get questions from them as well. And we're talking about the red orchestrals, the blue solos, and your upper tabs. And where do those sounds go? And what happens if I have a preset where I love the top sound, but I'm not in love with the bottom sound? How do I change that bottom sound without messing up my top sound? That is, seems to be one of the number one questions that I get. So we're going to talk about how to do that. As a matter of fact, I did it in this song. This song is on Patreon. We did it in the, what, I think this is in a Monday book. Yeah, we did it. We did it in the old book from the Monday class. And what we're going to do is just play the song and then we'll we'll take I'll take questions next and then we'll start talking about how I did some presets of how I changed some of these sounds and which buttons do I push and how do I not mess up the sounds I want to keep. All right. So, here we go. The very first song is a Dean Martin song. Ooh. <laughs> Very pretty. Yeah, we did that one before. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a pretty song. That's a pretty song. Okay, before we start talking about what we did, questions. And I know, Sue, you've got a burning question on your mind. I do. I wrote it down so I would forget it. <laughs> this is a dumb, silly, simple they're question. They're never dumb. Normal Vin. When, uh, in one of the songs I did, do you think for a moment that I could get that? sound anywhere i was always going and that i, I would stumble on and go, good that's good enough but it wasn't good enough it's not the right way so my question is this mm -hmm. to get a certain sound i found out that i should press normal and then the vin number no normal no, no, bit, and a, then no. the no, um, no, a1 a1 you have a and, there's a difference uh, between uh, normal and vin Right, normal and then. Different, there's a difference. They're not the same. Oh, piffle. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, fine. <laughs> All right. You on, on the bigger organs, when you have, and I know this is A and S U, but we're going to answer the question because a lot of times I'll, I'll have on the sheet, I'll have rhythm preset RP slash VIN for your sound. And on the Imperials and some of the other ones, it'll also say normal rhythm preset. Those are all the same thing. Vin is the 
vintage. You have two different sides. You've got a style set up over here, and you've got a vintage over here. Vintage is it gives you all the same sounds, one through ten, that the A organs do, the Liberties, the Sterlings, the Patriots, the Imperials. Okay? So that vintage gives you all those sounds if you press vintage. If you press style setup on a marquee, and I know this is not about marquees, doesn't matter. If you press your style setup, you're getting all the rhythm presets, one through ten, that are on the fanfare, the journey, um, so on the E organs, because those setups are different. What's nice about your marquees is that they are a pinnacle. They are the two, two lines of organs put together. So your style setup is the E organs, the newer ones, the Inspire, the, you know, the, that, that line, the marquee line. The vintage is the one that I have here on the Imperial, which would be my normal. Then what's organ? Normal and organ. Normal and organ, correct. Correct. Well, what, and then what organ? Is that vintage? Vintage is not on the A organs. It's only on the marquee organs, okay? But she had both buttons and she was just wondering, do I press this one and this one? No, you can only okay. have one at a time. And vintage is the one on the marquee organs that's going to correspond with the sounds that I'm setting up on an imperial, on an A organ. Okay. Well, then okay. why did I get it? I pressed the normal, I pressed the VIN, and correct. I pressed but if you, one. Correct, but when you I press normal, come up. and then you press the vintage, the normal went off. So you're doing, you're just doing That's a, true. You're doing a, a, a redundant step. Okay. The one or the other. Okay. Okay. So okay. when you put, right. if I have rhythm preset or VIN, VIN means vintage, which is the button that's over here that changes all 10 of these on marquees, grand marquees, et cetera, to sounds that are going to be on the A organs and the SU organs. But isn't it weird that I continue to that question that? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, we get into our silly habits and we go, oh, I have to hit this and then I have to hit this. Okay. No, you, you hit. You hit vintage only on those organs if you want to come up with the sounds that I'm bringing up on my presets. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Don. Good question, yes. Uh, what was the name of the song? The name of the song is Return to Me. And it thank was you. A Dean Martin song, and I put his choir girls underneath so that I could give an echo because all of his singers come in on that ooh, 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 and so I wanted to make sure that we could get that on the instrument. Was that on song set so you wouldn't have to make it on the bottom? No? I don't think I don't think Return to Me is in song setup. Okay. I can check. Let's check and see. Good question. Good question. Nope, it's not. No. Nope. So you have to do it my way. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Now, if you want to, if you want to go back on Patreon and find it, you may. Um, it was an old Monday class that we did. I don't know exactly when. Um, probably way back at the beginning. Two years ago. I have ago. an introduction printed out, and I also have your presets printed out. Yep. Okay. If you don't have that you can you can email me after the class as well and i'm more than happy to scan it over to you don, don yeah it was 10 24 22 when you did oh my thank you <laughs> and what book was that it's 274 274 okay 274. yep yep good questions any other questions on. Yeah. I don't know if this helps Sue, but on the she has the marquee or the grand marquee. Grand okay. marquee, yep. Okay. On setups from one to ten, there's actually three setups: normal, vintage, and organ. So if organ. you press one, you have normal, press the other one, you have vintage. If you press them together, you have another whole set of, of instruments from one to ten. Oh. That's 30. No, 33, because zero is also one. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that's how you get those. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Oh. So you have normal, you have vintage, and then I think together gives you the Oregon, right? No. Okay. Where is your vintage over here? Some of you. I knew I had them, but I didn't know how to get them. Okay. They're okay. together, one next to <laughs> next to each other, the two buttons. Oh, okay. Yeah, and and normal for you, normal for you guys is not the same as normal for an imperial or sterling. Okay, right. That normal is is your vintage. Yeah. Normal on the A organs is the same as vintage on the marquees. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and you can only do one or the other. If I press normal, that actually happens on these organs too. A lot of us have a normal and an organ preset. The normal will change all 10 of these. Actually 11, because yes, the zero slot counts as well. Times two, so you get 22 there, because you also get up and down. And those sounds are for every single rhythm that's there. Now, if you press organ, that changes all 10 of these, plus the zero slot, to organ setups that are going to work for whatever rhythm or music style you have set up. So if you're an organ aficionado and you love organ sounds, that's a good place to start, is just to go to your organ button and try all 11 presets. And then you're going to get a contrasting sound on the bottom as well. Hmm. Make I sense? Never knew that. You never knew that? Well, then there's your one thing. <laughs> I did not. I'm excited. There's your one <laughs> thing. Yep. Rhythm presets are something we usually tell you when you're, when you're doing a song. The most important thing, work left to right. Pick a rhythm or a music style. We use those words interchangeably. Pick a rhythm or a music style. Pick a rhythm preset. Go up and down the line. You're going to find three or four that work for you and play the song. Okay? That's what Lowry is about, making the organ easy, 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 easy. Now, what happens in a case like this where I'm playing Return to Me? I'm not going to even talk about the intro because I did a whole separate preset for that. I'm on Ballroom Latin, which everybody can use. Ballroom Latin, is it raining outside? Oh my goodness. And I am on Rhythm Preset 1, or Vintage 1. It's Rhythm Preset if you are normal, if you are on an A organ or an SU organ. And it is Vintage one if you are on a marquee all right and that's how i'm starting now if i take a look at it in my window because it always tells me what's there it's got two guitars on top and a flute on the bottom as a matter of fact instead of going to my memorized preset let's just go over here all right two guitars and if i'm playing a chord it will play it as a duet and then the bottom is a flute. As it says so right there, it tells me in the window. Or if I press number four and custom, it will tell me what all the sounds are in my presets. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, that's what the lesson is about, I want the guitars, but I don't want the flute. So what I can do is I can do a couple of things. I can check all my presets to see if there's a guitar on top and a choir on the bottom. Noonan, I don't see any of them. <laughs> I can go to my category presets and do the same thing, but that's going to take a lot of time. Or you can learn how to manipulate the sounds of your red, blue, and tabs so that I can keep my two guitars on top and change my flutes to choirs. Now, it's not as easy as you would think. You'd think you could just go, OK, I want a choir. I'm going to do, oh, I don't even see a choir up here. Well, phooey, now what do I do? I know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know. But I, I don't want to disturb anything here. 
See, a lot of times people say, well, I really would like to have a piano. So they touch a piano and then they go, wait a minute, it doesn't sound like a piano. It sounds like a piano plus organs and whatever. You have to know how to read this section of the organ so you can change the things you want to have changed. Well, what do I mean by that? All right, and I will give you this sheet because I have step-by-step -step instructions on how to read red, blues, and tabs. So if you ever forget, here's your Bible. And I even put a picture of the tabs. Now some of you have just genius voices, if you've got like a symphony or uh, some of the bigger, mm -hmm. the Patriot, the Liberty. But then I also have all that stuff. You wanna take notes, go ahead. If you want to wait and you know, just let me know and we'll get one to you. That's fine too. The upper tabs. Take a look at your upper tabs if you're close to your instrument. You have a red master upper tab. If that's off, I can have every single tab and I will have nothing. I will have nothing on that upper keyboard. Nothing. The master tab is what turns on all of your upper tabs. Why would they do that? Because maybe you want to add later in the song, uh, you want to have guitars on top and you want to add later in the song some flutes and maybe a string and a vocal. So you can have it all turned mm -hmm. off and instead of doing boom, 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 you can just touch one tab and you can all of a sudden get it. So right now, no tab. There's my guitars. Then I can just reach up and touch upper tabs. And all of a sudden, every single tab that I have lit up will now turn on in one push. So if you wanted to add without saving presets, you can just have them all set up, ready to go, and just hit that one upper master tab. It turns on every single upper tab at the same time. Questions on that? No? Okay. All of your clear... <laughs> what about on Liberty when you don't have all those red and blue buttons? It says upper arm. Upper, upper arm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What do you yep. hit? I mean, it's on automatically, right? You all, you've got the, the oh. Liberty where you've got just two genius buttons, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's all going to work the same. But let's right. go in order. Let's do the tabs first. Okay. Yeah. You And all your tabs, your clear ones are your organ sounds. And it says flute on most of them. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. we could spend an entire hour just on that. And we're not going to. A flute 16 is a low sounding organ. A flute 1 is a high sounding organ. Remember, the shorter the pipe, the higher the pitch. The longer the pipe, the lower the pitch. Mm -hmm. And so you can add those to your sounds just by reaching up and adding one at a time or have them all preset and do the upper master tab. Your strings are yellow. Your strings are yellow and it's the same thing. The 16 foot string is the low string. Your four foot string is the high string. <laughs> <laughs> your vocal ensemble, that is for exactly what you think it is for your vocal, your choir to come in just with the push of a tab. I use that one a lot in my presets. The upper genius, and those of you with marquees, it's going to say upper sound. Genius and sound are interchangeable. That is the blank tile in your Scrabble box. The geniuses can be anything you want them to be. And if you look in, if you touch it, you look in your window, it comes up upper guitar Hawaiian number two, and it usually has a number. If there's no number there, touch your screen. Some of the, the numbers go on and off just by touching your screen. And then if you like that sound, you can memorize it or write it down if that's something you think you might be using. Or if it's blue, guess what I can do? Scroll and change it to anything else. So I can actually have my upper genius be whatever I want it to be. It can be, it can be a harp. It, whatever you want. You could spend an entire day just going up and down. A koto. 
thousands of sounds are over here. And that's just going to this tab right here. And you can make it whatever you want. You do not need to push select once it's in the window and it says upper and you've got the sound in there. It's there. There's no select. You just scroll. It's going to say upper tab, upper, upper. And you scroll to the one you want. You can always and just try all your sounds until you find the one you want. Or if you know the one you want, if you know the one you want, you can use a number. Now we'll get into that in a minute. Some of you have over in the wings, and I know you can't see this very well, it says theater and it's purple. Those are also upper tabs. Those are also upper tabs. And don't forget that they're there because sometimes you go, wait a minute, I'm still hearing a sound. And it might be that you've, you're using one of those upper tabs that you maybe in your theater section that you don't want. Or maybe you do want it. So just remember, those theater tabs over here, purple, go to your upper keyboard. Well, now, I do. For those of you with marquees, inspires, rialtos, grand marquees, you have a button that will put all your upper tabs to your lower keyboard. The rest of us do not. <laughs> the rest of us in the A's and the SU's, that upper tab section only goes to the upper keyboard. Questions on that? Okay, let's move to Joanne's question. What if I don't have all those buttons? Yeah, because they got smart on the bigger and newer organs and they started saying, well, we don't need to have piano, jazz, guitar, accordion on board. They're in the genius. So why do we need to have all those buttons? So what they did is they just gave you two red buttons. And then they gave you two solo buttons. And then they have a window so you can see what's actually there. And then you have some commands. Now let's first of all talk about red. I'm going to turn off all my upper tabs. See, I did it with one, one finger turned them all off. So I got nothing going on right now because I have no commands going on for red and blue. Those are all off. Okay, so if I'm in red, it's orchestral. Orchestral means you can play more than one sound at a time. More, or I should say more than one finger or more than one note. Polyphony. Polyphony. More than one at a time. So I can actually get a chord. If I have a piano, and I tell it to go to the upper, I can play three fingers at a time. Polyphony. If I have a blue solo and I have a trumpet and I'm on upper on, because I'm telling it to go to the upper keyboard, how many trumpet notes? Sorry, what? Okay. <laughs> A trumpet can only play one note at a time, can they? So you cannot have several trumpets. If I play a chord, I still only get one note. Now there's a reason for that, but for now, let's just know that every single solo sound, if it says blue upper on, you can only get one note at a time because it's pretty true to what the players are. Okay, now you can have two sounds going at once in the red, can't you? Hmm, how do I do that? Well, if you are on a just have two geniuses, you're going to press both geniuses. I can do that here too. Two geniuses. I've got a nylon guitar in one. I press the other one. I've got a nylon jazz guitar in the other. Let's do two sounds that are going to be totally different. Let's do strings and a guitar. Press them both at the same time. One is going to be solid color and one is flashing. Now I'm going to press the upper on. How many sounds are going to the upper keyboard? Both of them, because I only have one command. I'm going to turn upper on off nothing. 
and I'm going to turn on lower right. Lower right means the lower right section of your keyboard down here. So if I turn lower right, one command, I'm telling it to go one place, and two sounds in the red, they're both going to go to the lower keyboard. What happens if I have two sounds, I've got a guitar and some strings, and two commands, upper on and lower right? Do I need to have both sounds up and down? Let's let John in here. Okay, there he goes. No, I'm going to have one sound up here and one sound down here. How do I know which one goes where? The solid light, which is the first one you touch, goes to the upper keyboard. The blinky light, which is the second one you touch, you've got to do it kind of together, so one, two. The blinky light goes to the lower keyboard. Okay. If I switch them, say, oh, I'd rather have the strings on top, then I'm going to touch the strings first and the guitar second. Now the strings are solid light, upper keyboard, and the blinky light goes to the bottom. Pretty cool, huh? Questions? They made it so much easier when they went to marquees. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and it inspires and, and Rialtos and marquees and grand marquees and arias and all that good stuff. They are so easy because all your sounds are split into separate little boxes. Here they have I two. I person needs easy. Mm -hmm. And here they have two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could do a class on a marquee. <laughs> If I had one, I'd be teaching it, yes. <laughs> All right, now, blue, solo, works the same, or does it? I'm going to turn off all these. I'm turning off all these. Turn off everything. Got nothing. Clear, clear palette. I'm going to put on society piano and a blue upper on. But I can't play a chord. I can only play one note, one key at a time because it only is going to sound that way. Or can we? I'm going to turn blue upper off and I'm going to turn red upper on. Oh, what did I just do? Hmm. I'm sending my solo sound through my red orchestral command. The only way I can do that is if there's not anything happening in red. Okay, if that's the only thing you learned today, you did good. <laughs> Andy's going home, he learned one. <laughs> Don, like you said, the marquee makes it so much easier. It does, it does, yep. Okay, now I'm going to hit two sounds. Let's do, let, oh, let's do clarinet and trumpet. Two sounds, one command, upper on. Both sounds in my blue are now going to go to the upper keyboard. John? Can't really hear them both, though. Let's, let's do trumpet and bells. There we go. Trumpet and bells. Go ahead, Sue. Um, I, I just wondered how you got those two. I, I just, I just picked two. I have, now remember, I don't have the genius voices. I have oh, okay. sounds on board that I can okay. read what they are. Okay. We'll talk about the ones that only have genius in a minute. Okay. Okay. So as long as you understand the, where, how the commands work. Okay. Right, so I have trumpet and bells. Now I'm going to take upper off and put on lower right. Two sounds in blue, one command, lower keyboard. The only problem is it's kind of screechy, isn't it? They're both going down. There's another button here called lower octave. Oh, yes. Okay, because I'm playing in a, in a screechy part of the keyboard, but I have to play up here because my chords are down here. The split's here. So I have to play that upper keyboard here. So if I put lower octave on, it's going to bring everything from here down to this range. 
even though I play it right here. Right? Don? Yeah. Uh, you keep saying lower right, and I don't find that on my, on my organ. It says lower on. Lower on. Lower on. Yep. Which organ do you have? Royale. You've got the Royale. L lower on is, is the same thing. It's the, they're, they're talking about the lower right. They're lower on, same thing. Yep. It's going to this half of the keyboard because this half down here, that's for chords. That's for your lower tabs. That's a whole different section of the organ. We're not going to even talk about that. Today we're talking about upper keyboard and the lower keyboard where your melody can go. Hey, Don, can I ask you a question? You may. I have a, a marquee, a grand marquee. I'm sorry, just okay. got it. I want to know how to turn up the volume on the lower keyboard because oh. sometimes it's not loud enough. That's a good question, too. All right. That's um, let's deviate a little bit. Um, first of all, let's get four sounds going at once. OK, I'm going to have on two sounds from my solo um, and I'm going to have two sounds from my let's do piano and strings. I'm sending both of these. Actually, let's do, let's split them up. Solid light and solid light. If I have two commands and two sounds in each one, I'm going to have two sounds going up and two sounds going down. Which ones go up? The solid lights, which are the ones you press first. Which one's going down? The blinky lights, the one you press second. So what's going down? The piano and the trumpet, because that's what's blinking. The strings and the bells are going up. Now, what do we do if something is too loud or not loud enough? You have some volume controls next to solo and orchestra. The problem is, if I'm splitting the difference, I might all of a sudden have something going, you might want to have something going lower. I want to have a lower trumpet sound, but what did I do? I also made the bells lower. You can hardly hear them. Mm -hmm. What if I just want that trumpet to be a little softer? If you go to Feature Clear, your very first page, you have a rectangle that says levels. Levels. This is what takes every single sound apart separately in volume. Touch that. Section one is orchestral and solo. What are we working with? Orchestral and solo. And they break them apart into four sounds. So where is trumpet? Trumpet is in solo two. It's flashing because it's going low. So what do I want to do with it? I want to make it go lower in volume. I'm going to touch the volume number. It's from zero to 100, 100 being all of it. Scroll down. So you can change your levels from everything right inside that level. And they, they take it all apart. Done. So you have total control. On our on our marquees, okay, we all right along like in the orchestra and solo, we also have the level buttons still do the same thing, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we don't even have to go into our uh like the the, the functional features to do that. Well, if you've got, I'm trying to think on a market. Yeah. Do, you, do you have separate? Do you have? Yeah, we do. There's, there's sliders for volume. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're then that's ten thousand times easier. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I'm not contradicting you. Believe me, I'm not contradicting yeah. you. I'm just you know. Yeah. No, that's that's how I adjust it. Hey, yeah. John, say that again, please. Sure. On Mike, on your on your marquee. You got like orc one and orc two, solo one and solo two. You have a like a, it's like a square tab, a square button. You have volume that, controls. Uh, volume controls up and down, like where your red, it's like the red and greens are, and you can actually go ahead and touch those, and it'll it'll actually go ahead and put it like up and down. For each if sound. If I was on my phone, I would go in, into my organ, but I I couldn't get on on my phone. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you, John. Sure, no problem, Mike. So it's a lot easier on the bigger organs. That's a fact. But what if we don't have the bigger organs? 
Right. Yeah. So then and we have to go into on. the levels where it does divide them out. And if you if you ever have a question and you're not sure how to get something or you forget, you know, guess who the best the best you can go to your your manual, but guess who guess who your best manuals are? Me, Joni, Robert, Jerome, you know, Gail, Carrie, we are Andrew, Miranda, who did I leave out? We are your best manuals. We are your best manuals. So you can you can email us, call us, and we're more than happy to answer your questions. And if you live close to one of those stores, go on in and ask the question, and then you can actually physically do it. There's also something called Zoom, a little a little trick called Zoom, so we can do it right over Zoom with you as well. <laughs> we know, Don. I say, throw the book out. Uh, I I go to the manual, and mm -hmm. it does explain it, but it's another thing to implement it. Yes, it is. You know, and apply it to our Correct. organ. So. Yeah, I'll be giving you a call sometime. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, here's the thing. Everything that I've just explained to you, then all of that also layers with anything that you have going on with your upper tabs. So you've got all that stuff going on. So if I just go to a, oh, let's go to pick anything. Let's pick anything. Society. Jingle Jangles. I love Jingle Jangles. Let's go to Jingle Jangles, Rhythm Preset or Vintage Zero, and read what's over here. So if you guys are on your organ right now, just go do that. Go to Broadway, go to Jingle Jangles, hit Vintage or Normal Zero, and we are going to read what sounds are coming up. So we know which sounds are going where. Sure, you can play it and see what it is. Where are those sounds coming from? They're coming from here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Which sounds are going where? Well, let's take a look. Upper tabs, we have a flute eight and a flute four. That's an organ sound. We have a string eight. That's a medium string. We have a vocal ensemble. So somebody's going to be doing some oohs, ahs, and singing. And then your upper genius. How do I know what's behind that tab? Turn it off, turn it right back on. It comes up in the window. That's a choir, stage ah. So you're getting, you're getting organ, strings, vocals, and vocals in your tabs going to this upper keyboard. Let's see what else is on. Aha, I have on upper, lower, upper, lower. I have four commands, four commands. I also have four sounds. Two geniuses, because remember, if you've got a larger instrument like a Liberty, they're all geniuses. Two geniuses and two geniuses. One is solid and one is blinking. What's the difference? The first one you touch is solid. The second one you touch is blinky. Solid goes to the top. Blinky goes to the bottom. So if I touch, I can see what they are. I can also go to, there should be a sounds page on here. Genius. Go to the genius button that's on your first page of your instrument and it will tell you what's in all of your genius geniuses in here so it's telling me that solo one and it's got actually surrounded by a blue rectangle solo one is a slit drum solo two are crystal bells so there is something called a slit drum going to the upper keyboard. I know that because it's solid. And crystal bells is going to the lower keyboard because it's blinky. And I have two commands, upper on and lower right. Don? Yeah. How do you get to that screen that you're pointing to? How do you go get to, that? Go to your home screen. Go to your home screen. And you have several buttons in the middle of your home screen. It says song setup. USB, or it'll say disk, it'll say keypad, and it should also say genius. And some of you have a, a fifth one that says style list in the middle. Some of you don't have that one. If you touch that genius one, it'll tell you what is on underneath those buttons without me having to go touch, because I could just do it this way. Touch it, it shows up in the window. Oh, that's pizzicato strings. Now I gotta touch this one 
That's strings ensemble. I could just do that. Slit drum and crystal bells. But it is kind of easy to just go to your genius button and they all show up in the window. And then when it says lower, that's down here. We're not dealing with lower. It also has the upper, which is your upper tab. And your geniuses are the blank tiles and the Scrabble box. They can be anything you want. So now I know which sounds are going up and which sounds are going down. So I can actually read this without even playing it. I know which sounds are going where. Now, why would you want to know that? Again, it's all about what if I need to change a sound? OK, let's go back to Return to Me. Return to Me, I'm on Ballroom Latin at 100 beats per minute. I'm at Normal or Vintage number 1, which has two guitars and a flute on the bottom. I want to change that flute to choirs because I want my ooh, 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 I want my choirs on the bottom. I don't want a flute on the bottom. But I still want to keep that pretty guitar on the top. So how do I do that? OK. Well, I'm going to give you the preset sheet if you ask for it. But this is how you do it. First of all, you got to know what sounds are going up and what are going down. Well, I have in red, I have two commands, upper on and lower right, and two genius buttons. The solid one is going up. That's my guitar. I don't want to change that. And my genius two, I, I now have it as choir etopia. It was a flute. OK, so how did I change that? How did I change it? And also, my solo two, I'm, I'm putting something in the lower right there too. So all I'm doing is I'm going to dial in a number. I could scroll if I want. I could take, go to the flute, scroll, 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 until I get to choir Etopia, or I could dial in a number. And the number is 297. If you look in the back of your manuals, it will tell you all the numbers next to your sounds. All right, so I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to go to my keypad. I'm going to dial in 297. And there it is in the window. Guess where else it is? It's right here. I learned that from Joni. <laughs> <laughs> right there on the end of my finger. Now I have to put it someplace. I'm going to put it in red orchestral genius number two. So I'm just going to touch it. Boom. So now it disappeared from the top of my screen, and now it's there. OK? But now I want to send it to the lower without disrupting my guitar. So I have to touch Genius 1 first and touch Genius 2 second. So I have Solid going up, Blinky going down. That's where it gets a little tricky. Because well, you have to resend that to the lower right. Because when you touch it, it's going to be, be solid. So you have to retouch the first one that you want to go up, which was Genius 1. Just put your finger on it and then touch, touch Genius 2 so it's blinking. Touch that one second. OK. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what if I have something going on in the window, which I, I this has happened before. Uh -huh. And I always get concerned if I press I want to go back so I can do that keypad number. Yep. And but I'm always afraid to push home or whatever the world home is. Home is the one you need. Do not oh. hit reset. If you hit now, don't hit home over here. If you no. hit home over here, you're erasing everything in your organ and going back to factory. Right. In your window, you have home. I do, and that's what I press. That's the one you touch because okay. it takes you back to your home screen. And then I can touch keypad and get to my numbers. Because otherwise, it takes forever. Mm -hmm. okay. Your numbers are the easy way to go. Mm -hmm. Then I'm also doing a choir, ah, near. And I did all the research for you. If you don't like mine, tough. No. <laughs> if you don't like mine, you can scroll to other choir sounds and get the ones that make, make it sound pretty for you. So choir, ah, near is number 195. So I'm going to go one, nine, five. Here it is on the end of my finger. And I'm going to touch a blue solo genius one. And I'm going to make sure lower right is on. One command, one sound, and it goes on. What if you put it in the wrong thing? 
but then you just do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. So that's how I get, and then I'm putting a duet on my lower. Some of you cannot do that in the lower, that's okay. Some of you don't have the harmony that go to the lower, that's okay, but your sound is there. So now if I'm playing Return to Me, there they are, there they are. There's my, my female singers doing that little echo mm -hmm. instead of the flute but my guitar is intact on top, okay? But if you know how to read red, blue tabs, you're good because remember, and it's all on here, it's all on the sheet that I have, one sound, one command, that sound's going wherever you tell it to go. Two sounds, one command, both sounds are going to whichever place you tell it to go. Two sounds, two commands, upper on, lower right, it's gonna split the difference. One sound goes to the top, one sound goes to the bottom, solid light goes up, blinky light goes down. It's, so Dawn, yeah. can I ask a question? You may. Okay, Marquis, you don't have a blinky light. Nope, you don't need one. It's easier for you. I know, you but have I your sounds are in little boxes. They've divided them into four separate sounds. So you just go to whichever sound you want and tell it where it's going. Yep. If, if you tell it to go up, it's going up. You tell it to go down, it's going to go both places if you tell it to go both places. Easy. Okay, what if you have something, say, um, on the lower right in the blue solo? Mm -hmm. But, and you also have something different in the upper, mm -hmm. but you want the lower, say it's Oz, and then you want it to keep the same sound, but you want that added to the upper. I do that a lot, don't I? Yeah, uh, that's actually a very easy fix because then all you have to do is touch your upper on and it goes both places. So it will go to the upper keyboard and layer with, as a matter of fact, the last one we did was at Monday. I did that, I said, let's go Let's push your upper on and layer it with that top sound. So I had a piano strings with a cornet. Mm -hmm. And all I did was touch the upper on for that sound. On these instruments, I have to make sure that it's the only sound there. Or that, yes, and then I just touch upper on. And now that lower sound, which right now is a choir, if I touch upper on, I have two, two commands, one sound. The sound is going to both places because I have two commands. Uh huh. It's the guitar, and I have now put that choir sound in the upper keyboard. It's still down here, still there, because I'm only using one blue solo sound. I'm not using the other one. If I was using the other one, that would be a different story. Don? Yeah. Uh, could you go and start out with the song, the, the Dean Martin song, and start what you would do to set the organ up and do it slowly? <laughs> for, for, for Return to Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I'm, uh, you can have this if you want. A1 is the intro. That's its own separate thing. A2 starts the body of the song. And the music style is ballroom Latin. So you just go to Latin, you find your ballroom. It's actually in Latin too. The tempo is going to be 100 beats per minute. Your rhythm preset is go or your normal is going to be number one. How did you find ballroom? Ballroom Latin? Yeah. Stan, what do you have? Robert, what, what organ do you have? Can't hear him. You're, You're muted, muted right now. Unmute That's yourself. Oh, yeah. what, what organ do you have, Robert? He has a Royale. He's got a Royale. Okay. You may not have ballroom Latin, so guess what you might have to do? You might have to pick Bossa Nova. Okay? Which is close. 
So you can pick a different one. Let's go to Bossa Nova. Let's do this for <coughs> SU owners. Let's pick Bossa Nova. Let's pick rhythm preset number one. Guess what? I have two guitars and a flute. Wow! Bill Curry did that a lot. He, he took some of the same sounds and put them in different rhythms, different music styles. So that'll work. Let's go to Bossa Nova. We can do it on that one too. Bossa Nova 100 rhythm preset or normal number one. Okay? And then I don't want the flute. What do I want? I want those choir sounds. The choir sounds are on the sheet. And I want to read. Now, this one's a little bit different. I want to read where things are going. There's one sound going up in the red, one command. So I can put the second sound and make it go down. So let's do that. 297. Go home. Go to my keypad. Go to 9. Seven, there it is. I'm going to put it in Red Genius 2. I'm going to tell it to go down, but now I have to re-push the guitar, one, and hit two second so that two is blinky. Blinky goes down. So now I have a choir going down, but I also have two sounds over here in solo going down. I'm going to switch that. We're only going to use one of them, and we're going to do the choir uh, near, which is 195. One, whoop. One, nine, five, here it is. Let's push blue solo one, and it's going to the lower right. It is the only sound going down there now, so we're good. Mm. I'm yeah. just on bossa nova instead of ballroom Latin, mm -hmm. but it works the same. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Hey, Tatoan, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, I don't think we can do this, but let's say I load a song set up. Mm -hmm. And I like the top from preset one and the top from preset five. Is there any way to put the top from preset five on the bottom of yes. preset one? Yes, it does take a little bit of, of, again, you have to know how to read this. Okay, you have to know how to read this. Let's do that. Let's go to a country. Let's just go to crazy country. And we're going to go to... Preset number one and preset number five. Well, what's on preset number one? All right, we, we, guitars and number five, some bells. So you want to take those bells and put them on the bottom of preset zero, right? Right. Okay, so now I have to just be no, on preset. No, preset one. You want me to do one and five? Okay. Yeah, one, one and five. One is a guitar, five is bells. So what you want me to do is take preset five and put it on the bottom of preset one, correct? Correct. All right, now the whole thing is you need a paper and pencil and you're going to write down what sounds are going to the upper keyboard in number five. What sounds? Well, you have to be able to read this section of your organ. Red says upper on and lower right. I have two commands and I have two sounds. So I know that the solid light is going up. So I'm going to touch that. What is it? It's handbells and it's number 34. So I am going to take some notes and I'm going to go red sound or genius one equals one or, or 34 handbells. All right. Now, what else is going on in the upper? Nothing in blue. Anything going on in the upper tabs? Yes, upper genius is on. So I'm going to touch it. And it is crystal bells. So my upper tab, and I'm just going to write upper tab, equals 304 crystal bells. So I'm just taking notes. Now, don't forget, theater is also part of your upper tabs. So there's a theater trim and a theater genius. So my purple theaters, the genius says percussion organ bell number 895. 895, and the theater trim is also on. See, I'm taking, I'm taking notes. Those are the only sounds that are in my upper keyboard. So now I'm going to go back to rhythm preset one, which has 
a nice guitar. And now I want to put those sounds down here. The only ones I'm not going to be able to put down here are what? My theaters. Theaters can't go down. But I can put down the bells and the bells. So I'm going to cross off theater because they can't go to the lower keyboard. Now I'm going to go, what is going down? Right now there is a jazz flute. It's the only one that is going down because it says jazz flute, lower right, one sound, one command in the solo. I've got one sound and one command in the, in the orchestral as well, but that's going to upper. All right, so I get a choice now. I can choose Red Genius 2 and send it down, or I can choose both my solos. I usually like to go to Red because I can get the polyphony. Remember solo, you can only play one thing at a time. So I'm going to go to Red Genius 2 because it's my open one. I'm going to go home to my keypad, and I'm going to put in number 34 handbells to Red Genius 2. And then I'm going to touch lower right, so I'm sending it down, and retouch Genius 1 to keep that on top. And Genius 2, I want to make blinky, so it goes to the bottom. Are you following me, or did I lose you? Yep. No, I, well, I, I'm, I'm kind of translating. I have the aria, but I get the idea. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah, you just write down what's going down, yeah. and, you, and you find the other ones in the other one, and uh, then you save the preset when you're done. I have, and then I have another one. My upper tab was 304. Well, I can't use upper tab because those only go upper. So now I have to use 304, and I'm going to put it in my blue solo and send it down. So 304, put it in my genius one. It's going to the lower. I should have now. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> That's good. I was just hoping it was an easier one. I don't think there is. I think when you're going from up and down, you have to go in and just redo. Okay. Good question, yeah. though. Good question. A lot of times you can borrow a preset from another rhythm style. You can borrow that preset just by copying it into a preset without the rhythm and mm -hmm. then use it for your new rhythm so you can always mix and match your sounds. Right. Uh-huh. Oh. The hardest part is what we're just doing right here. The well, question you asked is one of the hardest hey. things we ever have to do. Hey. But it is possible to do all of it. Hey, thank you. you. You just have to know how to read which sounds are going where. So you don't disturb the ones you want, and you change the ones that you're trying to change without disturbing these. Mm -hmm. We can do this lesson once a month for the rest of our lives and still have more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Honest and truly. All right. Are there any questions about what we've been doing and what we've done? Uh, Don, uh, Don, I don't have the theater on the upper. I have purple things purple. that say theater. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that the theater that oh, I'm supposed to That's your theater use? section. Yeah. The purple ones are your theater section, yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> and I'm wondering, you maybe, since I have another one here, I don't know if, a, see, that's got its own list. Let me see if I can put 895 in my lower genius, too. No, I can't. Yeah, the theater, the theater genius has its own, its own list of sounds. So that can't translate any into your solo or orchestral. So Don, if you've got something in theater, you can't put it in the lower at all. Yes. Don, uh, on the right-hand side, to the right of my sign that says Royale, there's the genius one and two. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come on. What's the matter? What do you mean it doesn't come on? No, there's no light. I don't have a light that comes on. If you touch it. Yeah. It should come on. Well, it, uh, it comes on, but uh, as soon as you let loose of it, it goes off. Oh, well, if you touch it and it goes on, does it show up in the window? If you touch your genius. Yeah, it did show up in the window. And it shows up in the window. Yeah, that's that's what you want. You want to be able to see what it is in the window. Okay, but as soon as you let loose of it, then it goes away, right? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. 
until you change it. <laughs> All right, this is a complicated section, but you can master it. Okay, now that being said, I'm, I'm getting Mr. Kelly back here is going, time for a new organ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as they design new instruments, they're always going to make it easier. And so those people who are lucky enough to have the Marquis, Grand Marquis, the Inspire, the Rialto, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. Now, if you, if you can upgrade, take a look at one. If you can't, don't worry about it. We'll help you with the ones that you have. That's what we're here for. I have one more song to play, if there's no more questions. No, there's one. One. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Theater. I can't find that on, my mar on the marquee. What can't you find? Theater. The word theater. Um, your theater is in your is in your screen. Oh, okay. Okay. You I'll have strings it. and you have theater. You have ensemble and you have theater, right? Oh, oh, I think I saw. It's in your screen. Okay. It's yeah. It's okay. in that. It's in your screen. It comes up on the bottom, and all of a sudden yep. they all turn purple. <laughs> okay. See, if that's the only thing you learned, you did good. All right, I'm going to end with an upbeat song. Why? Because we've been working too hard. we got to do some <laughs> silly things. Time to get silly. Time to get silly. And somebody just asked me, are you doing Christmas in July? The title of the song is Joy to the World. No, <laughs> we're going to go with Jeremiah, him being a bullfrog, and we're going to sing Joy to the Fishies of the Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> And if you feel like singing along, please do. This is just a fun, fun song. What a great way to end a, a lesson. I hope you learned one thing today. One thing. If you get a little confused, yeah, this is a confusing part of the instrument. Go find your PA, your personal assistant at your nearest store, and ask the questions because they are all able to answer them. Okay? And they may even explain it in a, in a way that's easier for you to understand. Because every, every single one of us explains things just a little bit differently. All right, here we go. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Right. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that's always a fun song. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yep, our hour is over. Thank you so much for coming today. And again, if you learned one thing, yes, that was Happy Organ, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Happy Organ playing playing Joy to the Fishies of the Deep Blue Sea. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was and stay tuned because coming up in the next coming weeks, all the rest of your Fletcher staff will also be doing some of these very special uh, workshops. And um, there, it, again, you, if you learn one thing every time you get on uh, somebody's class, you're ahead of the game because one thing and one thing and one thing, it starts to accumulate. All right. I will see you guys in class this week. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Bye, Cheryl. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. you. As well. I'm going to read the chats first before I go. Yeah, it was happy organ. Okay. Yep. What are you, what are you reading? <laughs>